Planning to travel soon? There are so many different things you really need to consider, especially if you're traveling overseas. And as you may know, consumer reporter Susan Hogan answers your quick questions on Instagram. And now she's here answering your questions here for us on NBC4. <laughs> yes. So glad to have her here Thank in studio you. with us. Today she's answering your questions about currency and how you can exchange it without paying a lot of fees. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's start at the, at the very beginning. You got it. What is the easiest and cheapest way to exchange currency? Well, that is going to your bank or any U.S. bank if you don't have one, you know, mm -hmm. to brick and mortar to go into. Because most often than not, they will not charge you any additional fees beyond the exchange rate. So that is where I would absolutely say you need to go. Okay, which means you got to do some planning and do that yes. in advance. Well, exactly. in advance. Exactly, for sure. Okay, now what about the currency exchanges at the airports? I've been guilty of using. Uh, them in the I past. Know. They're the they're the most convenient. Well, and you know what convenience, what happens? Convenience uh, comes with a price uh, neon, right? <laughs> and so also with those two, I mean, yes, because you are in the airport, if you for some reason you forgot to go to the bank, mm -hmm. the problem is these exchange rates inside the airports may not be as favorable as US banks. So try to avoid that at all costs. Okay, so what about credit cards? I've heard that they, were, they, they, they get around all the different fees that the exchanges use. Is that a good option? Okay, I, I actually think it's a good option. However, though, you really want to be careful of foreign transaction fees. Some of those can actually be more or less than 3% on every single purchase. Really? Yes, so what you really want to do is to make sure that you read your credit card contract, mm -hmm. make sure you understand what those fees are before you want to take the easy way out and uh -huh. pay with a credit card, which is oftentimes an easy way to do it. But. Now, here's something else I've yeah. noticed. When I've traveled overseas, sometimes the merchants will give you the option of using yes. U.S. dollars because they like, the, they like the dollar, so they'll give you a break on that. Is that a better way to do it? So financial experts will actually tell you absolutely no, because not oh. only right, not only could they charge you extra current currency conversion fees, they also could give you a very poor exchange rate as well. So you want to be really? very careful. Really, the bottom line is do your homework first. Go to your bank, get the currency changed over. And a lot of U.S. banks, most of the banks, will have the currency of the country that you're traveling with. Yeah. So don't worry about that. All right, you heard it from the expert here. <laughs> Go to the bank. Yes. All right, folks, if you have a quick question for Susan, you can ask her at NBCWashington.com slash quick question Susan. All right, thank you, Susan. Of course.